The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. You shall make a window for the ark, and you shall finish it to a cubit from above. Try me now in this, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven, and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. You shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. I know a man in Christ who fourteen years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or whether out of the body I do not know, God knows, such a one was caught up to the third heaven and set the door of the ark in its side. Most assuredly I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. Thus Noah did, according to all that God commanded him, so he did. Then the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all your household, because I have seen that you are righteous before me in this generation. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house we are, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. So Noah, with his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives, went into the ark, and the Lord shut him in. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And it came to pass, after seven days, that the waters of the flood were on the earth. All the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. The waters increased and lifted up the ark and it rose high above the earth. The waters prevailed and greatly increased on the earth. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved on the earth. All 
in whose nostrils was the breath of the spirit of life. All that was on the dry land died. So he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. For it is at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will utterly consume everything from the face of the land, says the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, and the stumbling blocks along with the wicked. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The people writhe in pain. All faces are drained of color. The earth quakes before them, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly, will be stubble, and the day which is coming shall burn them up. Noah was six hundred years old when the flood waters were on the earth. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be.